it's sin and i am back with another video and in the last video i unboxed a package from yamation that was some dtf supplies if you didn't check that out i'm gonna leave a link for you right up here so that you can check that video out if you're interested i'm also today gonna be using one of the products that i unboxed so if you're interested to find out what it is stay tuned t-shirt check welcome back big timers old timers t-shirtpreneurs and if this is your first time watching today welcome first timer today i'm going to be printing on a dtf film that i have never printed on before by a company called yamation and uh if y'all want to find out how you can save money ordering dtf film from this company check out my other video that i will have linked right up there that video right there it has all the information that you need to find out how you can save up to 30 percent by ordering from yamation all right so today i'm gonna be using let me grab it let me grab one and show you right here this is the transfer film dtf transfer film right here aka pet film i'm gonna be using this 12 inch roll right here so uh because i have some transfers that i have to print out for an order or a couple of orders that i have but i'm just gonna kind of show you guys some of it and kind of let you see the the results and everything of it so if y'all interested in finding out if this worth you buying stay tuned all right so i did uh remove my 24 inch roll so now i'm gonna go ahead and cut this plastic off and let me see make sure i cut both ends off And it should just slide right on out, just like so. And we got to take the tape off. All right. And this, this um, film is actually a matte film right here. It's actually matte. So we're going to go ahead and... We're going to load it onto the roll. Let's see. Don't want to let it jam down too hard on there. So kind of be gentle with it. And we're going to. All right. I'm going to try to tighten this back up before I put the other end on it. So when I put it in the machine, it won't be too many issues trying to get everything loaded correctly. All right. So we got this set up right here and we're going to move it over to the machine the print side is going to be over here so i'm going to go ahead put that down in there go ahead and unroll it and okay it's down there so we're going to Go ahead and lock the roller. We're going to roll it up a little bit. Go ahead and lock the roller so that we can get this thing set up. All right, so we got everything set up. So I'm going to go ahead now and print out my first transfer and then we're going to cure it with the conveyor dryer and then we're going to print it and i'm gonna let you guys know what i think of everything and you know how everything works out so make sure y'all stay tuned if you're interested in seeing that and also if you are watching and you have not subscribed what is you doing go ahead hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos if you're just not finding my channel like a few days ago i just did a live stream giveaway where I, I gave away dtf transfers i gave away quite a few things um i'm gonna leave that right up here in case you want to check it out but you, you want to make sure you always got that notification bell hit because you never know when i'll go live because you might have questions or i may be doing a giveaway or giving you some good information and you don't want to be the last to know so definitely make sure you hit that notification bell so i started the printer to print and, and uh i'm sorry i do have a lot going on today so it's printing right now 
we're gonna go ahead let that thing print and then we're gonna see what happens and y'all have seen printers print before so i don't want to bore y'all while it prints i can go ahead and be doing something else so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna cut the video for a minute and then i'm gonna come back once it get done printing and um let y'all check it out all right i don't know if y'all can see right there but it is running right there and the reason that's running it could be that i have it on the wrong side because i do have an issue I, I think i do have it on the wrong side y'all i'm pretty sure i have it on the wrong side that's my bad but that's one reason why i like using the um the transfer paper that is clear is uh glossy on one side instead of the ones that's matte on both sides because it is a little bit confusing it can be a little bit confusing and i don't think it had any instructions in the box so i'm gonna go ahead um it, i think it's almost done i get i i hate to make a big mess over here but as y'all see right there y'all see it is uh running but that's my fault because I'm pretty sure it's on the wrong side. Now that I'm looking at the paper, yes, it is on the wrong side. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I guess let that go ahead and finish. And then I'm going to put another, I'm going to um, flip it around. And y'all get to check out what it actually looks like. And that's my fault, my bad, error. It's user error right there. So, yeah. But that's what actually happens if you put the transfer paper in backwards. So that's nothing to do with the transfer paper. That is user error. And I do like to show you guys my mistakes. That way, you know, y'all can see what I did wrong and y'all can make sure that y'all do it correctly the first time. Because right there, right away, it's one sheet wasted already because of my error. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let it finish printing out, and then I'll show it to you guys, and then I'll flip the um, roll over to the correct side. All right, so let me let y'all see what this looks like when you do it the wrong way. So it looks like a hot mess right there because it's on the wrong side. And one way you can tell is by scratching. Like right there, that's not scratching anything off. So right there is scratching it off on that side. So that's what the mistake is. That is the wrong side. So I'm going to go ahead, um, reload. The, actually, I guess I can show you guys the correct way to load your paper in here. I mean, your film in here. All right, so for my printer, I have to roll that up right here, and then I have to release. I have to release this lever right here, and I'm just gonna roll, roll it back up, and just pull it out of here. You see, the way that I had it was coming this way. You want it to be coming like this, the other way. So I have to um, remove it off of here but well, I'm gonna roll that back tight and take it off you gotta kind of pop it out of there because it kind of holds it in that roll pretty good and it shows you right here on the roll the way that the paper should be going but your girl your girl did it wrong so let me see let me put that there I got to learn how to follow instructions right there and we're going to roll this tight again and then we're going to put that down in there and it should be right this time. We're going to go ahead and slide it down. I think I got enough in there. Yeah, we got enough in there. And press the pause button. 
and it's going to make sure that the paper is straight or the roll is straight and we can print from there. I like to roll it back up because it usually leave it usually leaves a little more than needed. All right, that's as far as it let me roll it. So we're gonna try. So we're gonna try printing this thing one more time. All right, so as y'all see, it is printing correctly this time and it is not running. But it's gonna take a little minute to print. That's a 11 by 12 design, I think, or 12, 11 by 12, I believe, is the size of that design. So we're gonna let it go ahead and finish printing. And then I'm gonna let you see the next steps. So we got all the transfers right here. I'm gonna just sit them on my screen print machine right there. And we just gonna, it says it's ready. So we just gonna start putting these bad boys on here. and see what these things press like onto the shirt. All right, I'm gonna be putting it on this blue shirt right here. And I'm gonna just follow the instructions for uh, the other transfer film that I've been using. And we're gonna see how it go. I'm gonna I'm pre-press, cause it's always recommended that you pre-press. I usually don't, but this is my first time using this product. So, you know, I like to follow instructions at least when I'm doing it the first time. All right. And y'all know that your girl like to use the T-square. I like to make sure that everything is lined up. Make sure, because with my hands, sometimes it don't be lined up. Let me slide this over right here. All right. All right. Eight and a half. All right, so we're going to fold this thing in the middle. And I designed this shirt, but they, that's how they wanted it. I know it's a little different. And we're gonna put it right there. The 
compressing at 280 degrees for 12 seconds. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna let that thing cool off for a minute. And once it cool off, we're gonna peel it. All right, so it's cooled off. It's not like cool, cool, but it's, you know, it's barely warm to the hand. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna peel. All right. That's what the backing is looking like. So that's what the shirt is looking like right there. And you know, with DTF, we have to do a pre, -pre I mean, a seven second repress. I can't even talk today, y'all. We have to do a seven second repress for DTF. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it back down. All right, that sheet got stuck up under there. And here is the final result. All right, so I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can give y'all a good inspection of it. Good inspection. Okay, so just checking it out. It looks real nice. Uh, it's thin, it's a thin layer of ink on here. And it don't have much hand to it. Don't have that much hand to it at all. Um, just like the regular DTF film. And now we're going to go ahead and do the final test for DTF film. Okay, so we're going to stretch right here. We're going to pull it. We're going to stretch and see if, if it breaks. So right there, y'all see, I know you don't usually do stuff like this with your shirt, but that's what it's looking like right there. It's intact. It, it is intact. Right there. That's what it's looking like. I, I like to stretch this part where it's like full, you know, filled out right here. So we can kind of test that out. And I, I said this, that the stretch test was the final test. I'm gonna let y'all check this out right here. That's what it's looking like. As y'all see, it looked just like it did. It looked just like it did. Nothing different. It's in there. Thank you again to Yamation for sending me out the products that I tested in this video. And um, if you're still watching and you have not subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you in the next episode, but until then, be blessed.